Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the permutation. This topic is the first topic na pag-uusapan kapag kayo ay grade 10 and lalo-lalo na kapag kayo ay third quarter. So, along the way guys, isa pa sa mga problem na napapansin ko is that many students are confused with the word permutation and combination. But along the way, along sa series ng topics natin na gagawin, about permutation and combination, I hope na ma-distinguish nyo na what is the difference between the permutation and combination. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, let's define first what is a permutation. Permutation is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangement. Again, permutation is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangement in a set when the order of the arrangement matters. So all you need to, or isa mga kailangan tandaan when it comes to permutation, is that order is important. Again, order is important. Ito yung formula na gagamitin natin sa permutation. So let's say for example, we have here, paano mabasahin ito, ito formula na ito. Permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial. Again, let me read this formula. Permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over n minus r factorial. Now, para mo sa visualize nyo, kung ano ba talaga yung gamit ng permutation, let's have this example. So, we have here, um, yung gagamit ng example, these are the names of my previous students. So, let's say for example, I have here the name of Gail. Shout out sa iyo, Gail. We have Faith. We have Casey. Meron din tayong kasama ni si Mutia. And Saguban. So, here's the background story. Uh, every quarter kasi sa classroom namin, nagkakaroon kami ng reshuffling ng aming seats. So, ito yung inyong akong ginamit na problem. So, let's say for example, I have five students. And meron akong isang row na kung saan, tatlo lang ang pwede umupo. Tatlo lang ang pwede umupo. Yan. We're in, kung iisipin natin mabuti, I have five students, pero tatlo lang ang pwede umupo sa row na to. So, isipin nyo ngayon, alin yung mga possible arrangements na pwede natin uh, ilagay sa upuha na ito. So, ang mga possibility kasi, possible na si Gail, Faith, and Casey. Pero, meron pa yung possibilities. Pwede naman na si Gail, Faith, and then Mutia. Another possibility, or another possible arrangement is that we have Gail, Faith, and Saguban. At, Marami pang iba. So, ang target natin ngayon in this permutation is to find the number of different ways na pwede natin i-arrange yung limang bata na to sa tatlong upuan na available. So, paano natin gagamitin ngayon yung formula ng permutation? So, in this formula, we have permutation of n objects. Yung objects natin ay yung limang sudyante at yung r at a time natin, this r, the three students na pwede umupo sa ating upuan. So, paano natin siya translate Ito ang mangyari ngayon dito. So, we will do the permutation of six, oh sorry, five students taken three at a time. So, given this formula, we will be having here, which is your n is equal to five, ba? Your n is equal to five, your r is equal to three. You have 5 factorial over n minus r, which is 5 minus 3 factorial. Okay? And simplifying this, we have 5 factorial over 5 minus 3, that is 2 factorial. Where in simplifying ito, maging ganda siya, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. Stop na tayo dyan. Over 2 factorial. Where in, as you can see, we can eliminate 2 factorial and 2 factorial 
And ang natitira dito, we have 5 times 4, which is 20, times 3, that will give you 60 possible ways. Ito ngayon yung value na ating, uh, ito ngayon yung different number of ways kung saan pwede natin silang i-arrange sa row na yan. So you have P of 5, P of 5 objects taken 3 at a time. Ito yung sagot natin sa first problem natin. So in the next part of our video, I will give you word problems where in ma-apply natin or magagamit natin yung formula na to. Now let us solve two more problems para mas lalo natin maintindihan what is permutation. So we have here the problem. Suppose we have six different potted plants and we wish to arrange four of them in a row. How many ways can this be done? So we have here six different potted plants and sabi, you need to arrange it four of them in a row. So remember, before we start solving this problem, remember that the formula for the permutation is that you have the permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equivalent to n factorial over n minus r factorial. And to represent this problem in permutation, we have six different potted plants, that is the permutation of six objects taken four at a time that is equivalent to six factorial over six minus four factorial and to solve this problem all you need to do is to simplify this first your denominator that will be six factorial over six minus four is two factorial and we have this equation or expression six factorial over 2 factorial, that will be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial because we can eliminate 2 factorial in our denominator so over 2 factorial cancel 2 factorial and 2 factorial so we can have 6 times 5 which is 30 times 4 that is 120 times 3, that will give you 360 possible ways na pag-arrange ng mga halamang yun. So you have the permutation of 6 potted plants taken for the time. So we have this answer, 360 possible ways. Check pa rin natin kung tama yung calculation natin. Eh? 6 times 5 is 30, times 4, 120, times 3, that will give you... 360 ways. So let's move on with item number 3. So suppose we are having a basketball league or liga in Tagalog. There are 8 basketball teams competing for the top 4 standings in order to move up to the semifinals. So in a basketball league kasi, one of the, ano, uh, after the elimination round, meron tayong tinatawag na semifinals. At sa semifinals, meron lang 4 na teams na nagko-compete. Okay, 4 teams na nagko-compete. And in this problem, merong 8 basketball teams. And kailangan na manat malaman kung ilan yung possible ways na rankings natin para magkaroon tayo ng semifinals. So sabi dito, find the number of possible rankings of the top 4 teams. So, uh, walo kasi yun eh. Napakarami yan. So, gamit natin permutation para mas maging mabilis yung ating pagkakalculate. So, we have here the permutation of 8 teams for the four top 4 rankings so permutation of 8 objects taken 4 at a time that will be equal to your 8 factorial remember this is your n eh? this is your n and this is your r over your 8 minus r which is 4 factorial we're in Pag simplify muna natin yung denominator, this will become 8 factorial over 4 factorial. So, for the continuation of our solution, we can have yung 8 factorial natin dito siya. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. Stop na tayo sa 4 factorial because 
we can eliminate this denominator, 4 factorial, with this 4 factorial over 4 factorial. And canceling this 4 factorial and 4 factorial, you still have 8 times 7 times 6 times 3. Check that in, eh? So 6 times 5, that is 30. Again, 6 times 5, that is 30. Times 7, that is 210. And 210 times 8, this will give you 0, 8, and 16. So that will give you 1,680 possible ways. So we have here 1,280 ways. Kung paano makukuha yung top 4 rankings in a league. We're in, meron tayo yung 8 teams na kailangan na natin ay yung top 4. So again, um, 6 times 5 that is 30, times 7 that is 210. Okay, times 8. So, okay. So, we have... Tama ba? Oh, this is not... A, this is... 1,680 pala. 1,680. Okay? So, check natin ha. You have 210 times 8. You have 0, 8. Okay, goods. So, the correct answer is 1,680 ways. Kung kailan... Pwede tayo magkaroon ng top 4 rankings. Diba? That's a lot. So, instead of listing them, kasi meron tayong tinatawag ng listing method, instead of listing all those possible ways, imagine 1,680. Diba? Oh, pwede nyo gamitin yung formula ng factorial. So, again, shout out sa lahat ng mga grade 10 students natin who are watching this video. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat, pero bago ko magbabay, may mga links tayo sa ating description box. Bye-bye!